Refreshing. Drink water podcast. We're back. Yes, we are back. Another episode. Oh, what's this? Yeah, what what's Microphones. going on here? We've got a microphone. We've How are these some... made? How's the microphone made? Is that is that a classic idea? That's a classic joke. Who J-R-E. where's that from? Pull oh it yeah, up, what's the yeah, pull... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's this thing even get made? How's but yeah, we're back. Get... We're, we're back. sounding we're sounding really good today. We're sounding good. You've got the headset in, I've got yeah. some glasses. I'm gonna take those off. What are they? The blue light glasses. Blue light glasses. Yeah, I think. Is it, that a real thing? I don't. I it haven't seems, heard much about it. It seems really made up. In all honesty, it does seem like a bit of a. It scam. seems extremely made up. Because I think the eyes are just going to adjust to it. Are we really going to have to wear silly little glasses everywhere? I know, and I, to I, avoid I can't headaches. even. Yeah, I, I don't can't even, even really get see. headaches from looking at it. I tried them when I was playing COD, and it yeah. made it ten times worse. <laughs> I, I had a headache it, from wearing it them. It blocks your view. Yeah. It's like you're looking through a box. Yeah, so we're exposing that today. Yeah, you're we're not appreciating... Deep diving on the blue light glasses. I know, we'll go into it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. They should uh, have a have a movement for people who were like pro the blue light glasses and call it blue lights matter. Blue light gli- glasses matter. Yeah, blue lights. <laughs> blue lives matter. <laughs> blue lives matter. Yeah, we'll just call it blue lives matter. That's a good one. Yeah. Sounds a bit familiar, but... A who little knows? bit. I know. Who but anyway, we're, we're back. back. We're back. We're sounding good. Another week. What's been happening? Ah, what's been this going on in the world? world. There's the the biggest. It's April Fools. It's April Fools' Day. Yeah, today the April first Fools. first of April. So we're um, not actually even filming right now. Yeah, this is this is the joke. So episode. you're dreaming if you're actually watching this podcast. Yeah, you're in. Wake up, wake up. We've got a joke episode here um, on April Fools' Day with the biggest news of 2023. I think is it the biggest news of 2023. It's fairly big, so it doesn't seem as big as it should be. In all honesty, yeah, I I feel it's it's when you do lock a man up for a few months and the world moves on, especially young people, people forget about all that stuff. Yeah, the top G, Donald Trump might be going to prison. He might. Be. <laughs> <laughs> no, the so um, the, the tates real. have been released from prison. yeah, the tates have been released from prison. Or they've put it on home arrest or something. I actually, I had a look at that when I was out walking just a second ago. Yeah. So he can't talk about the case. He can't. There's so many things he can't do. Oh, he, right. leaves Roma- he can't leave Romania. He can't leave his house. Not yeah. in the Bugatti. He, he can't I go know, driving. He can't get in the Bugatti. Can you sit in the Bugatti? <laughs> you probably just go sit in it. Or is it too threatening? Do some manies around the crib. Yeah, I guess. He's home arrest, you can... You would have to have like a, a huge backyard yeah, or a, a huge driveway to actually drive around to appreciate the Bugatti. Bugatti. A, f- a funny release video with the huge Saudi Arabian beards oh, yeah. emerging True. out of the prison cell. True. Because that's, that's the scary thing. Like, <laughs> it seems like he was in some sort of solitary confinement. Something like that. Because he was saying he didn't have any any sort of... What was it? He didn't have any... Ground time, any no time in the grounds. He had to stay inside the cell. I'm sure they had a fun time though. I feel like he got to a point of such fame where he was like, "How can I even get higher than this? I kind of want to go back to the bottom and start, start fresh." The story's. I good. need a bit of a recharge. The story's good. <laughs> now he's a man who's been in prison. Yeah, yeah, they've been locked in a cage, three by three meter cage. We'll see what happens. The human trafficking. Yeah, it'll Might be very. Get charged, yeah, that's back true. Back to prison if that's all. Whatever, because I wonder what the what the situation is for being able to post to social media. Because he has been throughout the sentence. It's Rumble, you can do whatever you want. Oh, you can. You can break, <laughs> <laughs> you can break the law. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to go on Rumble and say I'm innocent. Yeah, but who knows? Might flee to Dubai, or that would be a great one. Yeah. That might be the the greatest thing on earth. But then it would be a bit like, oh, you kind of just ran away. Kind of shows that you're guilty. Oh, it does show that he's, shows yeah. that he's very guilty if he did that. Because, so. yeah, again, he's someone who's pretty much like standing up being like, no, I'm innocent. Yeah, very truth, per- truthful person. Yeah, he's like, no. Seems to want to put yeah. that image out there. The, the Matrix. World. The ma- oh, Again, the, the Matrix thing, what'd you say? Aiden Ross's tweet. Um, Yeah. Is it a coincidence he was released on the day that The Matrix was released? <laughs> Which is... I know. Because what would have happened... You could probably find a way to link The Matrix to it. He could have been released on the day The Matrix hit cinemas or something like that yeah, in, in America. Yeah, if it was in three days. Yeah. But then that wouldn't be that special. 
or the day the Matrix won an Academy Award or won some sort of award, that would be great. It was the day that the trailers were released. <laughs> the unofficial trailers. <laughs> it's the day the actor was born. I know. I wonder... The stunt double in the back was actually born on <laughs> this day of the Matrix. The <laughs> Keanu Reeves' birthday. <laughs> the, the this lady. isn't a coincidence. <laughs> It's all linking up. <laughs> They're showing you the truth. Or do you think? Because I love that conspiracy stuff, where you literally just imagine. Insane. You imagine. You imagine just the hundreds of people being like, "Okay, we're going to do it." What day is the Matrix released? Uh, I think it's April first. Okay, thirty first. So thirty first of March. We're, so we're going to do that. Yep. So we we all good with the thirty first of March because we're going to do it on the day of the Matrix. That's what those sorts of conversations have to happen. Yeah. In order for that conspiracy theory to ring true. Yeah. And I love that for any conspiracy theory. The conversations <laughs> happen behind the scenes. It's like, so we're going to do it on that day to get that message across? Yep. Okay, good. Make Having sure it's this Friday. Microphone. What is it? It's funny how it in this microphone. Right? You, what do you think? It, it changes it or makes it a little bit more it professional? It. I just, I'm just getting used to it, I guess. It's got the water bottle, got the microphone. Yeah, you got, and you've got to make sure you've got to keep it quite you've close. You've got to keep well. it quite close. Yeah, because you're not a fan of the headphones. I don't like hearing my voice. As I'm speaking, it's a bit of a strange feeling. It happens. I feel like I'm listening to the podcast while I'm doing the podcast. It's a bit of an information overload. Yeah, no, it's, it's a classic one. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it does take a long time to get used to. Like I said previously, behind the scenes, I kind of don't want to get used to that. You don't want to get used to it. But then it's that thing, if I do another podcast, or if we start doing more other podcasts with other people and they've got their headphones. Yeah. And then it's, yeah, probably should get used to it. Because I will say, Mike, Once we go on Joe Rogan and he's oh, like, man, we do the headphones. Yeah, man. you got to have the headphones. Yeah. you got to have the headphones on <laughs> for like four hours yeah. as well. Gosh. That's something that I have. I don't know, maybe because I haven't been wearing them. I've been wearing these Apple ones for a while. Yeah. I put the big headphones on and it gives me a headache. I'm going to do we need these big headphones? I'm kind of getting sick of the big headphones. Yeah. What if you went on Joe Rogan and they're both just wearing these? Yeah, why it's can't easy. Apple it's- AirPods do some cooler little... Well, Beats have you're them. Right. You're right. The um, noise cancelling. Is there much difference? That can, that can connect. I mean, your yeah. ear's not here. Yeah. Your ear's this little hole here. Yeah, of course. Do, you, do we really need these big things that My go whole, over I, everything? I'm, I'm literally with you here. I'm really against headphone Sh- usage in general. Should we ban headphone usage? Big, are we talking big headphones? Yeah, I'm talking about big headphones. Yeah. What, what happens to me, I'm let's say in 10 public, years in prison. Or even I'm at the gym. I'm like, do you really need to have that? High quality Big sound thing, right yeah. now. <laughs> Do you need to? Kind Are you of that feel- special <laughs> that your song that you're listening to does it need to be in that quality? This techno yeah. song that you listen to needs to be like. Do- I know. Does it need to be in like an engineer like quality sound? Yeah. Are you, get, you, are you like a get music the engineer? old school? Just, just get this. Some use, the, use the AirPods. It's good enough. Or the cables. That's all. I, honestly, if I open a gym, you're only allowed to use those two. Because what happens whenever I see someone using those big headphones, I get like anxious. Yeah. Because they're so they're sweating underneath those. I feel like the AirPods. Yeah. I feel like we've kind of hit the pinnacle. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. there is any better we can get I with that. Really don't. Because I tried so. the Beats noise cancels. Well. I was like, they're this horrible. is ridiculous. So I can't bad. even hear anything. Yeah, this is just distracting. Also, with those ones, they go right deep inside yeah. your ear, and you it hurts again. It hurts. And it's just ridiculous. Like, is this? I don't, I don't need to be in a recording studio. I know you're not. When Dr. I'm Dre. just walking down the street listening to some yeah. music. Complete. What quality do you need? The AirPods are like perfect. They've hit it. Literally, they've hit it nicely. It's you can the blast. sidewalk. It's like we don't need to make a new thing for a sidewalk. Or a yeah, chair. we don't need to build a new kind of. You got to watch the. You got to watch the microphone. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. I know this is going to be annoying. You might have to. Might have they have these in? I might. I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Maybe I'll have AirPods in. Um, or just have we normal. got another? Do one? you do you have any with you? I just have AirPods. Oh, AirPods don't connect because it's the whole like Bluetooth thing. Well, get get with the times. I know they should get with the times. Get but with then the, who are we call out pod track. Get with the times. Yeah, but then we got to go into the full podcasting um, equipment. Ah, uh, right. go with them. And I don't know. They're, they're they're like back in the back in the past a little bit. Yeah. But anyway, we've got some big big stuff going on. What's big stuff? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I know we've got a we've got a really. Big oh, we're one watching. Going a, on. There was a TikTok trial. Yes. It's hilarious. I yeah. saw some clips from it. We've got one. So up I don't right know. Here. I don't know anything about this. This is literally the. So first I think time it's I've similar. The, everyone's talking about banning TikTok. They think it's Chinese spyware for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. People say there's a war going on or something. Right. Everything looks fine out here, but yeah. So they think it's kind of similar to the Facebook one. Right. 
where all these lawmakers and leaders of the US government just seem fairly incompetent to be running this modern world that we live in currently. Okay, and because it's very a exposing. Or... Oh, it's just embarrassing. These people are just outdated. Right. And it's kind of like, who? why are these people in charge? Okay. But we'll watch the clip. Yeah, let's, let's have a about. watch. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. I'm sorry, I may not understand the... So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Co- Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Mr. Chu. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty straightforward answer. I don't know. I'm almost on his side. Whose side? Mr. Chu's side. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh right, right. Okay. So what's what's happening well, here? Like, what's the, the guy is saying he's almost maybe he didn't explain it clearly, but he's basically saying, do, well, he asked. Yeah. Strangely, does TikTok connect to the Wi-Fi? Yeah. So, so he doesn't really even get what how Wi-Fi works, uh, and it kind okay. of just embarrassed the country. And it's it like, is quite because imba- I don't it's understand extremely what he's trying to get at. And the guy, Mister Chu, is even like, what? Uh, "You mean does the phone connect to the Wi-Fi? Right. It ha- I guess it does. If you want to connect, <laughs> if you want to use the internet, <laughs> I think we know what he really means, though. What does he really mean? I think he's assuming that they're having control over your Wi-Fi. I think there's like some, I guess, what is it, the whole conspiracy thing about TikTok? Well, I think he was kind of saying if it connects to the Wi-Fi, can it then also have connection to the laptop that's connected to that Wi-Fi and access the laptop's data? And then can it also access the TV's data because it's all through that one Wi-Fi? Yes. Something like that. And that's what I assume he was asking. Yes, maybe it wasn't even as bad as I thought <laughs> initially. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's an interesting, I think, discussion as yeah. well. Like... Yeah, and the, the way they've kind of shut it off, because um, it's a tricky question to ask, because again, I don't barely even understand what the problem with TikTok is. You're someone who seems to f- find there's well, like a big what the issue with it. fear is that like China's a communist country, yeah. so there's no real such thing as a private business. Like you can have a private business, but at any time, because it's a communist country, the Chinese government can come in and say that's ours. Go mm. like that's ours. We can just take that. You kind of have no real laws protecting you from them saying we're going to kind of take all the data from that if that's all right. Okay, right, right. And we don't even like need to get approval. It's a communist country. Yeah, yeah. No like real absolute freedom here. Yeah. Where it's kind of like how Trump got banned from Twitter. The president of the United States of America. Yes. Was like well, you can't use the Twitter app. Yes. That the whole world uses. That yeah. the whole of America uses. Yeah, which is hilarious. Because it's like, well, we're a private company. Screw you. Yeah. We're bigger than the government now. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, was, I was kind of thinking about it really deeply. And that was kind of, I feel like, a pinnacle point where it's like, is Twitter going to be the future government? Did Elon actually buy Twitter cheaper than what it's worth? Oh. Like, what did he buy it for? $44 billion. Yeah. If that becomes the government one, that's worth trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. So, how would Twitter, Twitter Twitter become the government? I guess it's like a... I guess, like, a I don't know. Town hall. I always like to think that you're living in the past. And yeah. the future. So, we're f- so far in the past. So, we're like cavemen. We're not yes. in the future. It's yeah. like, you can say we're in the future, but then it's going to be hard to think about the future if you think you're in the future. <laughs> that makes yes. sense. So, I feel like we're in the past. And I feel like in 50 years... I feel like governments aren't really going to be a thing that we really need anymore. And we are going towards more of a socialist, anarchist world where people kind of want more independence. And we kind of want more simplistic things. It's like, why do I need to go vote how we did in like 1920? It's like, why can't I just like press on TikTok, Instagram? Like, why can't, why isn't it easy? Why is everything so complicated? Of course, yes. And you can kind of see through this trial. It's like, look who's running everything. These yeah. people just aren't with the times. Right. It would be maybe cooler if Elon ran everything. Because he's smarter. It's like, well, I could make everything easier. To vote for laws, we'll just you do polls on Twitter. Uh, that's true. But I guess everyone has to have a Twitter account. And then you have like... And that would be the thing. And... Like, everyone has to have a driver's license. Okay. Once you turn 18, you will legally have to have a driver's, uh, Twitter account. And it's the same thing what he's doing now. He's trying to eradicate all the bots. 
essentially. Right. Yeah. So anyone with a fake account, I reckon Meta's pretty much about to start that. Yeah. I even feel like you won't be able to create, like we're in this glory time where you can just create Instagram accounts. You can just create Twitter accounts. You can just like make 50 accounts a day with emails. Yeah. I feel like in a few years, you'll have to probably connect it to your like ID to create it. So you'll have to be an actual person. Which is And scary. if you create another account for a business, you still have to put that through the same ID. Yeah, yeah. So it all has to be authenticated. So it's not some Twitter. So it's not, sorry, some hacker. Because it's just this like crazy period and it's just happened so fast. Troll culture needs to be around though. <laughs> and that's, that's the, at the end of the day, you kind of need to have troll culture for like, I don't even know, like a society to operate. But, but what troll culture are you trying to say? Troll culture would be fake people, fake accounts, ironic accounts. But I think it's that thing. Accounts. You can still have multiple... You can have 10 meme accounts. Oh, but they're all connected to you. But they're all connected to you. So you're just not going to feel as if... And only go- one of those can like vote on the law or whatever passing. And like things like that. But like, I guess you have the whole idea that let's say someone some- says something hilarious or edgy online. You'll be able to connect it directly back to that person. Yeah, but it's the same thing. It's like why Elon might be good is like he's very pro free speech and America. Yeah. So I feel like it won't be a complete ab- like abolish the government. Yeah. It'll be like just a slow transition into this new government. Do you think it could be an issue for like getting employed? Well, let's say you have an employer. Let's say you're Woolworths or whatever. Yeah. They're gonna be. Well, we're we talking Australia or America because I feel like for us it probably would be another like twenty years down the pipeline till we oh, kind of I caught guess, on. I guess the world where everyone's being forced on Twitter. Yeah. Um, let's say you're wanting to get a job at Woolworths. So this could be like 70 years into the future. Oh, okay. If it was Australia, I'd say. So 70 years. Yeah. So what do you think? When's America, you think, is going to happen? I reckon 30 to 50 years, maybe sooner, maybe a lot sooner. I don't know. I, I honestly feel with like, I guess, the classic globalization, yeah. it's not going to be these things where countries are so far behind. You can have someone who's like in, I don't know, Kazakhstan, um, let's say has who has like more than enough access to information and the internet than anyone else in the world. Yeah. Even let's say they're going through a war. Yeah. Um, I find that that's just the case nowadays. Yeah. The average person could be in like West Africa and just on top of everything that's going on in technology, so um, culture, social media advancements in if everything. You're wealthy. I'm sure in a lot of third world countries, it's extremely expensive you would to be on top find, of everything. You still find they've all got their iPhones. Uh, uh, yeah, outdated version. Yeah, an outdated yeah. version, but can connect to the Wi-Fi and have download Twitter and yeah. have access just as much as someone from like, I don't know, Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which is which is where I don't think there's going to ever be that sort this of huge, like... huge, but I feel like it'll be a test and... Not everyone wants to take that risk of possibly destroying your entire country. And America yeah, would probably course. be the one still. We will take the risk. Right. And I just feel like with Joe Biden, you can see, and it's like, these people shouldn't really run this anymore. Right. I don't really trust these people. Right. And it's all the corruption and lobbying, and it's just all kind of falling apart.